Don't forget to check out my Patreon link in the description down below where we do exclusive content for videos that get blocked on YouTube like Level Up Project 1, 2, and 3, Twice Seize the Light, Black Pink House, 80s Treasure Film, Black Pink's documentary. Tons of blocked performances are on there as well and certain tours such as Red Mare, Red Room, Twice Lights, Twice Land, the Black Pink The Show online concert, Shiny World 4, and tons of Knowing Bro episodes and so much more. Link in description down below. Hey guys, Angie here and today we have Joy's Hello album. These are like cover songs or remake songs, whatever you want to call them. We have Je t'aime, Je t'aime, Je t'aime, whatever. I don't, I'm not French. <laughs> Um, day by day, uh, if only featuring Paul Kim. Happy birthday to you. Okay, and be there for you. Just a few songs. Um, I hope one day we get well. We will. I'm pretty sure get a full original album from her. I think she wanted to do one, but the company suggested a cover or make remake album. Of course, SM ruins it. I mean, I'm enjoying it, but of course SM always ruins it. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Uh, but yeah, I mean, here we are. So um, let's check this out. Oh, okay. Hello was really good and catchy. We stand. I couldn't find where. I tried to look yesterday where to compare to the originals because I never heard the originals, but couldn't find out who did what. This reminds me of like ladies' room and stuff from Red Velvet. <laughs> like that vibe. Or Ladies Night. I think they have two songs called H. Oh my god, this suits her way so much. She's such a Disney princess. It's such a like, softer vibe and stuff like this. She has such a cute voice. Which is funny because like when she talks, it doesn't sound as like soft like this. Oh, okay. I love how breathy it is. I can imagine a music video for this, and it'd be so beautiful. Kind of like a little down, um, <laughs> let me just, 101 Dalmatian vibes. Like her running into someone with a dog, that's a vibe. She's wearing like little poofies, poodle skirt. I'm 
was beautiful. I have a feeling we're gonna kind of get that vibe throughout the whole album, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Never heard these songs. <laughs> um, Hello was very upbeat and bubbly, though, compared to that, so that was a good little, like, switch up, I guess you could say. So, Alright. Ooh, okay, we're getting different vibes. Alright. She kind of looks like Irene a little bit there, I guess, because she kind of looks pale. <laughs> Sorry, Irene. This is this album so far. Three songs in. Turn us up. Oh, this album's gonna make me appreciate her voice so much. I already really like her voice. Instead of Joy. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Oh, so off. Ah, I'm so bad at that. I can see this being my favorite. We still have like three songs left, but I can see it being my favorite. So I thought, oh, plus, I thought, I um, this album would be more either trot or at least like pop, kind of like hello. Um, but I'm not mad at the direction we're in. Like I'm here for this, but like just my expectations were that. Why Joy just looks so different in this picture. Maybe she's just edited a lot here. Or she's not smiling. So it's a little different. Oh, can't get on. <laughs> I love this part. I love her voice, man. It's so different from Wendy's album. I, it leans more towards um, Irene and Sylvie's album a little bit to me. Aside from, um, This is very like late 90s, early 2000s to me. Which is probably when the OG came out, like, I think. Yeah, especially those. Like the back of vocals is so nostalgic. Is it like repeated hers? Like like a lot of her vocals there, or is it the members, or is it random people? Yeah, they, it, it doesn't clarify really that it's a remake. I I feel like there should be something that like explains that it's a remake. Cause I, if I didn't know that from Twitter, 
I would just assume these are her songs. I don't know who Paul Kim is, but all right. Yeah, this is a very chill album compared to what I thought it would be. Once I'm not mad at that, just different. like a friends to lovers type thing or one-sided love it's called if only so They secretly pining after each other. Interesting. This is such a cool song. such a cliche um, friends to lovers story but I love it this song is so interesting I don't know if I'll listen to it a lot it's pretty story focused so it's like the lyrics are more interesting and since they're not in English it's like sadly one of those songs I probably won't listen to as much because but I would know the lyrics somewhat I get I'm gonna guess they're not gonna end up together at the end. Oh yeah, I really because it's called if only and if they end up together. I don't think they are. Oh, it's such a bittersweet song man. I love it. I love that they didn't end up together though. So sad. I love it. That was so wow. So was it not originally a duet? Because that wouldn't make sense with the lyrics. I feel like unless they changed the lyrics a bit to make the story more. I don't know. Now we have "Happy Birthday to You." Oh, I love this picture. She's doing, I like this album because she, you can just hear so much of what she's capable of. This is what I kind of thought the album would sound like. I 
I can just imagine a cute little dance here. Ooh. Oh, I wish that poem on a little longer. Oh, that's cute. It sounds like an interlude of like a musical where it's not like the favorite songs, but it's like a good little middle, um, which I think it fits this album. Speaking of some J, I'm watching We Got Married on Patreon, <laughs> along with other Red Velvet stuff. Um, yeah, that's actually really cute. I mean, the Lulu here, but like, if it's his birthday month and if she put that song in there, that's kind of cute. Um, but the Lulu, you know, the Lulu. <laughs> Last one. This is definitely what I expected. This is like a sweet song that has like a bit of like a beatness to it, but it's not like a pop pop song, you know what I mean? It's like a, it's just a cute little love song. I, this whole album feels like it's a love song, like all together. Is our joy in love something? Just kidding, just kidding. Don't attack me. <laughs> just kidding. These songs have a lot of this empty part here, which I know is very like traditional back then, like a lot of songs do that. She said, look for me. <laughs> a joy. <laughs> I'm sorry, she keeps saying that. Do annoying mixture. Dang, I can't help it. I'm gonna think of some good. <laughs> there is a lot of like declarations of love though. But these aren't even her songs, these are covers, so. Oh, this is cute. 
my heart. It's so pure right now. She's pure in my heart. Pure. Pure. <laughs> Aww. That was really cute. That might be my favorite. My favorite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My favorite are Jitami. Jitam. Jitam. Day by day and be there for you. Those are my favorites. Those are the ones I'm definitely gonna listen to the most. I like if only, but it doesn't feel like a song I listen to a lot. Hello is probably what I'm gonna listen to the most technically. Probably hello in this one. Um but dang. Oh the original singer. Oh, that's cute. These were all really cute though. Definitely as I now listen to them, I'm like, yeah, that's more joy, I think. Um because just because you really love listening to certain songs doesn't mean you want to sing those ones, you know what I mean? Um, and I could be wrong with her, like, love and draw. I have to, like, check that I, that, that I assumed correctly. Um, could be mixing her up with another member or something. But she seems like such an old soul, if that makes sense. I don't know how to describe it, but she just seems so ahead of herself. I love it. <laughs> it it feels like she's so youthful with her actions, but so like an old soul with her like spirit. You know, like she seems like an old person with a youthful heart. Does that make sense? I don't know how to describe it. Joy's so unique though. I love her. Um, but yeah, those were my favorites. I'm gonna know your favorites, and I hope we can get a full or like a mini album of her own original songs. Um, even if she doesn't write them or something, but like her own album with her songs on it. I really hope for that with her because she wanted that that's what she requested and then the company suggested something else suggested not like she has much of a choice with that like if they're like actually can you do this it's not like she can be like she could probably say no but you know it's mm -hmm. but i i think she at least got to pick these songs or something or got to suggest these songs at least and um, they just get to improve hopefully like I hope she has some say in that. I'm pretty sure she did because these seems like these seem like songs she really likes. So yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know your favorites and don't forget to check out my Patreon for some exclusive red velvet content that gets blocked on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.